We're doing an Odyssey check-in with Sean Mendez. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really excited to just make some more music and release new music. Yeah. Summer of Love is incredible. Um, what is that song doing for you right now? Like emotionally, how's it feeling on you? It feels good. It feel it, you know, it was like writing about the first kind of couple months actually in the lockdown, which was Camila and I were so lucky because we were able to just kind of be in a still moment. And it was kind of the first time for the over the past six years that we've been just like able to relax and and not work at all. So we were just like going on bike rides around Miami and it just felt really beautiful and like still and um yeah so I was just kind of writing about that I had a lot of nostalgia around that time and um I think without that time Camille and I would have it would we found it a lot harder to connect it really really brought us together you know I think it's cool about that song is I heard it and I'm like I think this is about last summer because the way you wrote it like you really yeah. that feeling of stillness and like um you know what I mean it, where I captured that it was definitely where you guys had some downtime and you got to relax yeah totally I mean like it was a time that was like so visceral for me usually life is like is flying by I'm not even getting the time to like be able to see the details and like there was oh it was always raining in like a beautiful like kind of uh tropical storms and like uh, the shadows in the room we were in, like being able to like be descriptive about that stuff and just remember that stuff was, is really special. And I think that time really made me realize how precious time is and, and making sure that I'm spending it in the right places, you know? Was it intentional to kind of release it at the end of this summer as it's kind of like a wrap up song of summer? It, it wasn't that intentional. I mean, I, I, the song was just being made over the last couple months. Okay. So like, I'm well, that worked just, well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I think it'll be something that's kind of like even nostalgic whenever, because I'm not saying a summer in specific, I'm more so talking about a any summer, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think what's cool about it though, is it really does feel like its own moment because I think you brought it to life so well, even before it came out with the visuals and you already have merch for it. And it's like making it really feel like its own big standalone thing. I mean, it really is just finding excitement in like making and releasing music right now and like connecting with the fans and connecting with people and just like dropping the ego about having to be some sort of thing on social media and just kind of having fun with it and surrendering to culture and how much fun it can be you know so it's 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 some of the most fun I've had releasing a single in, in a few years Tell me about the first thing that kind of came to you for this song. Was it like the idea of it? Was it a note? Was it? Yeah, lyric? like there was there was a couple amazing writers who started the idea. And when I heard it, I was like trying to figure out a way to like figure out how it connected to my life. And I remember the lyric that really got me was I was sitting there writing lyrics and I wrote um, if uh, for a couple of months, it felt like we were 18. And the second I was said that it kind of opened up Pandora's box of like, all memories flooding in of those couple months and just like all the visuals it was like really like like I said visceral so um that moment yeah really opened up a lot for me well that's what's so interesting though about creating is I feel like you really can start with one thought and it can go so many places and I think my favorite line of the whole thing well the first line of the second verse just hits so hard where it says meditation and tequila <laughs> calling you my senorita when you made that like callback to senorita was that just like an exciting moment because when I heard of that course. I'm like oh <laughs> yeah I mean of course I mean like I think those two lines are such a good representation of just like what the last year has been for me, it was just like daily meditation to like stay calm, but also like tequila when it's necessary. And I think there that kind of reference to Senorita was true, but also just really fun to be able to reference that song. And, and yeah, it felt really exciting when we got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I like the balance of meditation and tequila because you, yeah, it's it per- <laughs> you can, you can absolutely have both. Um, you're very open about meditation. And I feel like it's one of those things that is like so hard to get in hang of and then like so hard to implement. Like, was it like that for you? Yeah. No, I mean, it is like that for me. It is so hard to implement every day. Like every day I wake up and I, something in me is telling me to skip it. You know, um, it's just like for me, a matter of like enjoying my day 10% more or not, you know, cause it yeah. just gives me, it gives me a, a, like a perspective that like 
not to take myself too seriously. It gives me a perspective of like care and love when people are being annoying. It's like, it, it helps, you know, and I can try and always put it aside 10 minutes for it. But yeah, it's definitely not easy. I, I never would say meditating is an easy thing to do. Yeah. Um, well, I meant to say too, the production of the song is incredible. How was it working with Taney? He is amazing. I mean, I've been a huge fan of him for a long time. I always thought that his stuff was so special sounding. It actually really reminded me of like a tr- like Toronto and Canada and the, and the essence of music from there. Um, but he's like the king of reggaeton music and like has really dived deep into that and like given his all to that genre. And I felt like being able to work with him and like mix the two worlds of, of pop and what he does uh, was so amazing. Not to mention, he's just extremely humble and kind. And so it's just beautiful to work with someone like that. Yeah. Sonically, it's so unique. Like when I first yeah. heard it, I was like, like, whoa, you know, did you, yeah. did you kind of want that or did he help find that for you? He, I got to give him the credit for that. Like <laughs> he, I really like was so just like, I'm, cause to be honest with you, the first listen, I was, I was shocked too. And it was like one of those things where I was like, wow, this is like a departure in a really special way for me. Like to, to be singing on a track like this. Cause it just feels, it feels original, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But do you think it's a departure in a way that you think your music might move forward in this type of sound? I mean, I love this sound and I always will make music in it. I have no idea at this moment. I'm just kind of trying to flow with what feels natural to me, you know? Yeah. And what people yeah. are connecting with. Um, what has doing things for yourself mentally done for your music? Like what are things that maybe you work on that you're like, this makes me actually a better writer, like more thoughtful if I do this? When I take the time to like actually wake up in the morning and journal, it yeah. really helps me as a writer because it helps me kind of just like collect my anxieties and fears, um, which is usually what I'm writing about. Um, so yeah. But when I'm really into my journaling, I get, I become a much better writer. Um, when you like truly started speaking from your soul and like stopped worrying about being relatable in your lyrics and just worried about you being vulnerable, do you find that people like actually re- related to that more? Yes and no. I think that is part of the thing that everyone has to accept is that there is no like key or like trick to getting everybody to like what you do. And yeah. the truth about it is that just some people won't, you know, and some people will. And like, I think that was the process that kind of actually ended up happening for me was like, maybe no more or less people liked what I did or connected with what I did, but I was a, more, a lot more okay with the people who didn't, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, the, the last time you and I talked was when Wonder dropped and you spoke about like working on your ego and opening up in your relationship. How has that self-work been going? It's been, I mean, it's been great. I think like it's the ultimate challenge, like just, just bettering yourself and trying not to be um, an angry maniac. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, it's going, you know, that some days are tough and I like feel like I step back 10 steps and some days I feel like I leap forward. So I'm just trying to do it the best I can. Are you into personal development at all? Like, do you do, do you read any of the books or listen to any of the podcasts? Everything and everything, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> what are yeah. some of your favorites? Um, Victor E. Frankel, A Man's Search for a Meaning is an amazing book. Um, I really recommend that. Um, what else? I was really blown away by Ryan Holiday's Stillness is the Key. Um, he There's a chapter in it called Enough, which is one of my favorite chapters I've ever uh, read. It's just about how in life we have enough. And um, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, there, I could go on forever, but like I, both, both those books are great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you do in your downtime? Do you like listen to any podcasts? I know you said you wanted to start one one day. Yeah, I mean... In my downtime lately, what have I been doing? I don't know. I, I I actually haven't been listening to a lot of podcasts or books at all lately. It's been just like vibing, listening to some music and just kind of I'm listening to a lot of the, the original Ed Sheeran album, actually, plus. And I just like kind of feeling okay. that nostalgia and remembering those songs because that first time I heard the A-Team was like amazing time. I mean, that is such a good album to go back on too. Um, like every, every time it's, it's are, so are you so excited for his next one? So excited. I mean, I, I just am always going to be such a huge fan of him and he's one of the most inspiring artists to me ever. So always, you know, 
Is there any new artists that are out right now that are inspiring you? Um, I mean, Lil Nas is so inspiring right now. I, I am like every every time I see him do something, I'm like, he's just like earth shatteringly brave and courageous and and smart and talented. And I just am like such a fan of him right now. Um, I do have to say I died when I saw you tagging Benny drama because I've been watching <laughs> his TikToks for so long now. And I've always wondered, I'm like, does Sean see these? Because I know you're on TikTok. Like, how did you see the first one? Did somebody like show you or did it just show up on your free you page? I think it like- just showed up. And I was honestly <laughs> struggling to figure out what was going on because part of me was offended, but part of me agreed with him. I was like, I do say shit like that. Like, but you know what? Like, if I, I think it's hilarious. Like, sometimes you don't realize because you're doing interviews all the time and you're like putting on some sort of voice and speaking and trying to seem like you have everything together and like it could come across that way and I just think it's pretty funny I have to say since I've seen those I've cared I've been a lot more nonchalant about everything and it's felt a lot better (laughs) well what is next for you after summer of love are you going to keep writing do you have any plans yeah yeah I I mean I'm making tons of music I am just like waiting to see which ones feel right and then we'll be back out on the road to play shows again I'm ready Yeah, it's exciting. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing an Odyssey check in with us, Sean Mendez. It was great talking to you. You too. Yeah. Good luck with everything. Thank you.